notice we're using our hands. Body percussion. Yes, using those hands just. Oh, that's awesome, awesome. Hey, we got music in our bodies. We got music in our shoulders. We got music in our hands. And we got music all around. Wow, can you believe we're back again talking about cooking with music? Wow, this is cooking with music. Yes, Jeff Sheen, it almost sounds like season salt. salt. Wow, well, we wouldn't recommend salt for kids or recommend salt for adults. Remember, we're talking about healthy foods. Yes, well, today we're back with making music with our bodies and also with shakers. As you can know, I have right here a tongo in my hand here. Also on the bottom is a little gorg which kind of tweaks the sound, muffles the sound, creates the melodies, you know? So how would I use this? If you notice, see in other countries, they make this and it takes all day to make these. And believe it or not, inside there, it's rocks. But now, watch this. Huh? Join in with us. Now, I'm going to do something else. And you keep those hands going. Whatever happens, keep the rhythm in your heart. with music. I'm Chef Gene and today we're going to make a very healthy and a very cool snack for you for after school. It's called Ants on a Stick and Ants on a Stick consists of fresh celery, cream cheese, and assortment of raisins. So ask your mom when she goes to the store, say mom pick me up some veggies already prepped, some raisins and some cream cheese. So let's start off. First we can take, either take one long piece of celery or you can cut it in half and have two pieces. And since you're having a friend over and food is missed to share, you might want to make two. So you start off, you get yourself a plastic knife. Remember, a plastic knife. Take a little cream cheese, not a whole lot, just a little bit. Put it in there and you'll see the plastic knife makes it fit very easily. And you're also making one for a friend, so you do that. You put that in there and you spread it through there. Put that on the plate. Next, we're going to add our raisins. Grab your raisins, and you take your raisins, instead of pouring on there, put them on there one a little bit at a time. You can pour it on as many as you like. That's the best thing about this, because everything in here is very healthy for you. Once you do that, there you have ants on a stick. Welcome back to Cooking with Music, Chef Gene here. And today we're gonna to make another very healthy and very cool meal for you to eat after school. First of all, you wanna to tell your mom, she wants to get you some very soft lettuce, okay? Soft lettuce, because the hard lettuce doesn't roll that well. Next, again, we're gonna use some cream cheese. You can use any type of soft cream cheese that you like of your choice. We're gonna also use some raisins again. We're gonna use some mixed nuts and some cherry tomatoes, okay? This is a very easy meal for you to make. All you have to do is take your time, okay? First, we're gonna start off with a lettuce and be sure to tell your mom she has to wash the lettuce for you, okay? You wash the lettuce, you lay it out here. Next, we're gonna take our cream cheese. And you don't have to have a lot on this, just a very little bit because once we put everything in there, it'll be enough for a snack for you, okay? So we start off by taking a little bit of cream cheese and we're gonna go down one side of the lettuce. And then we're gonna take another little piece and go down the other side of the lettuce, okay? Put that back in there. Next, we're gonna go get some more of our raisins that we had with ants on a stick, okay? Put a little bit of raisins down the center. Now, to make this very special, we're gonna add some mixed nuts. Just enough for, for your appetite, okay? We put the little nuts in there. Next, we have our 
our raisins, our mixed raisins, okay? And we got our mixed raisins and we put a few in there. And what you're gonna find that with this meal here, you don't really need any salt because you're getting the salt from your nuts. Next, we add some cherry tomatoes. And usually just about three cherry tomatoes is enough for this, okay? You take those, you put the cherry tomatoes in the cream cheese so that they stay. And then you start to roll. And then you don't have to roll fast, just take your time, roll it slowly, slowly, slowly. And then when you have that there, make sure you have a napkin so you don't spill anything on your mom's kitchen floor, okay? And here we have our vegetable wrap with soft legs. And welcome back to Cooking with Music. Today, Chef Gene is going to make for you a take on the great American sandwich, peanut butter and jelly. But this time, we're going to do it with almond butter. And instead of white bread, we're going to use flatbreads. So in order to make this thing, today you need a bowl. You need some almond butter, which is just like peanut butter, but it's just a little different taste. We're trying to introduce new things to you. And a jelly of your choice. And flatbread. So we're going to make a kid's dip here. First thing you do is just take a tablespoon and you'll see that the almond butter it's a little more softer than peanut butter so it's really easy to take out of the jar. So we take some of that, put it in one side of the bowl. There you go. One side of the bowl. Next you take your jelly. Another tablespoon. You don't need a lot for this. You're going to really enjoy this. And you put your jelly on the other side of the bowl. Take your flatbreads, and there you have it. Almond butter and jelly dip with flatbread. 